I don't want to go over it, but I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> Bring me back in real strong, cause you can't do no wrong. Y'all ready for part two? Yeah. We got a sequel? Yeah, we got a sequel. Cause ain't nobody equal. That's what you been up to this whole time? Okay. You hear that? You know how to freestyle? Do you? A little bit. I know you, you ain't gonna do it. Don't dare me, I'm gonna do it. Shit, you ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Go ahead first, bring me in. I gotta bring you in? Yeah. This your shit. What you want it to go. be about? I don't know, just spit. Me? Yes. I don't know, I only did it a few times. <laughs> I'm not really that good. Come on, try something. Let, Let me try it, hold on. Hey, do it like you used to do in the old act. Look how Marvin Gaye looking at you. <laughs> you done came through with no tattoos. God is dope, I agree, cause that's true. Hey. This a flow for me, I'm about to pass to you, but not now, because I know how. Let me go and slow it down, and go and cool it now. Cause I'm about to have a new addition. About to fuck something, and probably make a new addition to the family. You wrote Real that, dramatic. that sounds too good. I ain't wrote <laughs> shit, I'm just coming with the static. Hey! I, that I can grab it, I don't want it, I didn't add it. Hey. You know a nigga automatic with the flow <laughs> and the freestyle. It's been a little while, so I'ma gonna tell you what I'm up to now. Just bought a house. Might buy a cow, might buy a couch, but I don't know how. They gonna deliver it, but I ain't gonna be at home and I ain't gonna answer no strange numbers on my phone. Hey. They like, low, sorry, you're home cause we got your couch. I don't even want the couch, bitch, I said a fucking cow. <laughs> Bitch, I said a fucking cow. They didn't send me a couch. I wanted to buy a cow. Wow. <laughs> now, let's talk about how I'm living. When is Thanksgiving? Ain't it like a month, like right before Christmas? That's a long time if you think about it, but not really, because in a little while, it'll be here. That's silly. A homeboy named Billy. He like to stand outside when it's chilly. <laughs> he be lying all the time. I be like, oh, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> that's silly. He's a white dude, a hillbilly. He always wants to get drunk with me. Hey. But I don't drink, I don't fuck with the Whitney. You know, Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin. And I don't know when, cause they done did that shit like a whole lot of times again. <laughs> to the point where we don't need one. I don't need a hook, cause this ain't even a fucking real song. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you get it? You get it? Okay. It's That's just... like the old act though. No, you got me. That's fine. Okay, but I was just. That's fine, you did that. Okay, but I was just, you know. You gotta believe in the camera. You gotta believe in you gotta yourself. Believe. You, gotta you believe. inspired that. You gotta go That's in. Fine. When you told me to believe in myself, I think I was believing in myself at 99. <laughs> Cool. Literally, because a little bit of me was like, nigga. And then when you was like, no, yeah. I ain't the room. I was like, some of this room hey. don't be feeling me. Because I always discount about three, four motherfuckers because I know, like, some niggas is just naturally haters, right? So I always be like, three of these motherfuckers ain't gonna like it. But you telling me that I can make all these motherfuckers commit to my program and now I'm just looking at yeah. shit different with different eyes. Right, like, with your third eye. I'm looking at shit like Marvin Gaye. Yeah, as you should. Cause you're only responsible for how you show up. Right. Damn. But see, when you say a third, I ain't even gonna say it. Cause my third Damn. has somewhere else. I ain't even gonna tell Bring you it back. shit. I'm talking about the one up here. I, I know what you're talking up. about. I know what you're talking about. Talking about the whole, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, back to the regularly scheduled back program. Back to the regular <laughs> little schedule program. Don't you love when black people just fuck up just average <laughs> words? They be like, nigga, where you from? Back to the regular schedule program. <laughs> the regular, you know. You need to check the regular gurgulator on that motherfucker. <laughs> Come on now. The regular gurgulator, you stupid. <laughs> You know that they down there trying, you know the bitch, all she do is resuscitate what I say. <laughs> resuscitate. 
This bitch trying to ask the my character. <laughs> no, hold up. Irregardless of what you gotta say. Now see, <laughs> then you want to be demonstrative. You know, I don't like talking to women's anyway, cause you know women's real objectionable. Oh, real, very, they real objectionable. Very, very. Hold up, I gotta conversate with you. L- listen, man. <laughs> listen. So, 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 what, so what you, what you saying here? Oh, I see it. She trying to corroborate the story. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. So she trying to arbitrate with the oh, other chick. God. Arbitrate and argue, and, and then they want to come up with some old <laughs> bullshit. You know how they do a nigga. I looked at a nigga, I said virtuosity. Right. Virtuosity. Right. She 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 up there trying to be the whole goddamn uh 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 judicial system. <laughs> what? Can't try and judge me. Bitch, I'm an amendment. Come come on now. I'm an amendment. Hey, that, hey, first, second, <laughs> hey, and then I left, I told her, I said, listen, listen here. Prostitution wasn't in the constitution. Huh? What you said? The prostitution wasn't in the Constitution. You got them right. And I left that motherfucker just like that. You heard what I said? Hey, I, what? That's when the old nigga mean business. When he turn that guy, listen here. That one, listen. I he walked right forward. up to his face and I told that motherfucker, I quit. You hear me? <laughs> walked out that oh, motherfucker shit. like you wouldn't believe. Why wouldn't I believe it? <laughs> How did this nigga walk out of this bitch? All right, I'm at the part of my blunt where I want to ask you some more questions. <laughs> Thank you for the slutty V. Play me some. Slutty music. I'm feel real slutty right now. <laughs> Got on a silk tank He's top and it's rubbing on my nipples ever so gently. What? I knew you was coming. No. I'm feeling real slutty. You stupid. Got some underwear with no no dick hole. Just a hole. Oh God. It's just thighs. Yeah, you said slutty. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. I cannot. I feel real slutty this right nigga now. Nigga got a garter belt on. That's what he. <laughs> No, they draw us. Just say no missing. You stupid. <laughs> missing the whole middle. Oh, oh that shit retarded. This is really a baseball cup. I just oh. snap, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, a man. baseball cup. Yeah, that's what you're right. Retarded. I'm real slutty. So look, you got some very Somebody. interesting menu items, or should I say menu names? Yes. Give me a few of your favorite menu names. They don't necessarily have to be menu items. We got the the one night stand. I had one of them. The menage a trois. At the slutty vegan. <laughs> Can you take us through like the, what, what's the one night stand? Because I'm so gonna the one night stand has bacon in it. That's the most popular. It got the vegan bacon, the cheese, the patty, the sauce, the seasoning, the lettuce, the tomato. It's a sexy. You know burger. how I know that shit good? Cause you just made an air burger when you was naming the ingredients. Yeah, like, like lettuce, yeah. It's you know a whole, listen, it's a whole experience. <laughs> but people come, let me tell you something. People come around the world to get that damn vegan bacon on that burger. So how, how does that work? You just feed the hog vegetables? <laughs> is that how we is that how we're doing it? No. Because they said it tastes like real bacon, and I no. said, I know what she's doing. Do you, I know what she's do doing. Do you eat real bacon? Hmm? Do you eat real bacon? I've had it. Was that a trick question? I've had it. No. That shit, we had personal yes. too. Whoa, wait, wait. Hey, listen, you know, that's a, when somebody asks you if you eat pork, <laughs> that's fighting words. Yeah. But anyway, nah. um, no, so it tastes like what, like a, I guess a turkey bacon, what it tastes like? Oh, man, come on. I ain't never eat nah, pork I eat a lot more turkey bacon. I eat turkey bacon a yeah, lot. Yeah, so I had turkey bacon too, so it tastes like that. But we got that, and then we got the menage a trois. Ooh. So that got shrimp on it. <laughs> I see how that could go, because shrimp do look. It's the same paint. Let me tell you something. Y'all be surprised. It's real shrimp? No, it's not. Well, it ain't dead. Think about it. That's what it. I'm talking about. Yeah, it ain't dead. It was alive it at was. some point. No, it no. wasn't. It's a plant. It's vegan shrimp. Well, it was, oh. Yeah, but it wasn't dead like I'm so carcass confused. dead. I'm just going to go in there and you just, just gotta come. You just feed me I got me you. I'm going to hook you up. Like, and you're going to love it. She said I could go. Can I go? <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to let her finish this. This menage a trois. It's got to be two different kind of vegan meats on there if it's the menage a trois, right? Yeah, well, it's three. It's the bacon, the shrimp, and the patty. That shit sound freaky. Yeah. Patty. It's expensive, bacon, too. And shrimp. shrimp. They all yeah. laying in the bed together. Yeah. <laughs> Laid out. You Mayonnaise. know, the shrimp curled up. Mayonnaise. <laughs> the shrimp curled up over there. Big spoon energy. <laughs> Mayonnaise on everybody. From the waist down. Slab. Bacon nasty. Bacon got mayonnaise on All his mouth. All over his motherfucking mouth. It's a lot of red in there though too though. I don't know. It was from the vegan sauce with <laughs> yes. ketchup. 
Oh. Mm-hmm. It's vegan bacon, though, so he's stiff. Yeah. He, he, he like, leaning up a little bit. Let's do it. I got a side too hoe, too. That's a, that's a menu item? Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought you was confessing some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I ain't never hey, heard nobody just old to come out and say that. Yeah, no. Nah. The pressure got to you. Nah. <laughs> but that's a, that's a shrimp basket. And then we got the Hollywood hooker. That's a vegan Philly. It's so funny because when I came up with the names, it was just a joke to just match with the theme. And like, like now everybody joke. know it. They like, damn, that one night stand. I'm like, that's crazy. I got people that's Christians, Muslims, people 65 years old asking for a side hug. Coming to the restaurant. I know people been coming up there fucking it up. This old lady. Let me get the side dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, yes, it is. I just had one. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's it's there's power in like redefining words, right? Because yeah, now I got I don't it don't matter how old you if you ten or you seventy five you going to love slavery you gonna come and you're not thinking about the fact that we we quote unquote selling sex but in reality it has nothing to do with sex. It's just selling what you thought was some sex with some good ass food. Yeah, and but you- I'm getting people to pay attention. Listen. To get, do you know how many black people are talking about converting to veganism or at least eating a little healthy or eating like a plant-based lifestyle because of Slutty Vegan? And we reeled you in because of the name, the raunchy, racy name. But then when we got you there, we, we, we masked the teaching with the experience. So you don't even know whole time you learning. We teaching you about veganism and how it is cool to, to eat something that didn't require killing the dead, killing the animal. You got Whole hood niggas out here eating. What? Yeah. Every day. Didn't even, yeah. Bro, I ain't know this shit, bro. <laughs> Real shit. This I shit thought gotta it be was some just how far you feel. It got to be some meat. That's it how ain't it be all meat, but it's some meat. Listen, it's some that's meat how it be. You be surprised. Got she got to put a little ground beef in there. A little goddamn beef, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I got rappers. I got hood dudes. Come, everybody come to Slutty Vegan because they not thinking that it's a burger joint because we upplay the experience. They thinking, damn, this is good food. I'm hungry. What's up? You want to go study vegan? Right. And they go, and they come back, and they keep coming, and they tell people about it. I've never spent a dollar in advertisement yet. It's been two years in. All mm-hmm. of this is just word of mouth. Let me mm. ask you this. What's the sexiest? Like, just looking at it, like, on your, on your real, like, on your, sh- like, when you on your cooking shit, like, your chef shit. Like, what's the sexiest shit to put on the plate for you? Like, it's just vis- the most visually appealing to you. Mushrooms. Girl, what kind of... What? You asked me a question? What you what you was looking for? I did not expect that. Yeah, mushrooms. You know why mushrooms? Because you can make mushrooms anything that you want them to be. They could be big, they could be small, they could be skinny, you could do whatever, so it's versatile. What kind of mushrooms is you talking about? <laughs> she talking mushroom. about mushrooms like Bruce Lee was talking about water. <laughs> Listen, hey, somebody gonna retweet what I just Cut said, though. Yeah, no, for they're real. Gonna, I'm that's gonna be the one part that they're gonna, gonna be like, bring the mushroom. Right. <laughs> I like beet mushroom, little one, skinny one. I know what she would see. Niggas don't be listening. She was putting y'all up on game Dang. for real. <laughs> Not like, the heads. Oh, they all. Oh, man, bro. Well, yeah. Nah, we, we, we got some dope names, um, and we're coming up with some more You stuff, know, the so. research department just brought us some research that said there are over 10,000 known types of mushrooms. Yes. I done had quite a few. Listen, mushrooms is good, for real. Like, really good. You cook them right, and they absorb the flavor. Well, they we absorb just you. <laughs> you ever had them kind of mushrooms? You know yeah. what? Them mushrooms got down. I was scared. So somebody yeah. that I was with wanted to do it. I'm like, fuck that. I'd be the one person to take it and fuck around and croak and something happened. I'm mm-hmm. like, nah, I ain't playing that game. You would have thought a slutty vegan, but you would have took it a totally different way. Yeah, that You would have been trying to get naked on OnlyFans with vegetables. <laughs> Dip your teeth in this guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> and I like guacamole teas, do it. But yeah, no, I ain't never take no shrimp. Yeah. But no, regular mus- oyster mushrooms. That's the one thing that I started fucking with. King oyster bitch. mushrooms, yeah. 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 Where you get all your cooking skills from? Um, my grandmother. So my mother was always at work and my grandmother, she Jamaican, she told me how to cook. But we Jamaican, so we was making rice and peas and bummy and fish and like growing up eating stuff like that. So it's funny because I tell people like I'm not familiar with soul food until I came to Atlanta. 
because mm -hmm. I grew up like going to McDonald's. We was going to McDonald's once a month. It was a treat. It was like going to Six Flags back in the day mm. that you could go. So I yeah. just learned from my grandma. That's how it's supposed to be. Shout out to all the Jamaicans. Yes, shout out to all the Jamaicans. Y'all just adopted a, a new Jamaican. I see. Adele. <laughs> the Jamaicans have really embraced Adele so much. Jamaicans do love Adele, though. Man. What? You go to Jamaica, that's all they singing. They singing shit that we stopped singing back in 95. Like, it's a hit. <laughs> like, Jamaicans are the funniest mm. people. It don't matter what song it is. If they like your shit, it's about to be a whole... Oh, and don't play no Celine Dion. What? Jamaicans love Celine Dion. I don't know what it I is. I did not know that. You yes. hit me with a random fact that time. <laughs> yeah. Jamaicans when, on When did this start? For, forever. You be surprised. You go. You ever been to Jamaica before? Nah. You gotta go. I'm, I'm thinking about it, but man, everything fucked up right now. I really man, took COVID. advantage. Listen, go before lower. that, now I can't go until later on in life or whatever the fuck. We just missed on. a whole summer. Who else did Jamaicans like over um, there that you would never think? That's too random for you to just leave it at that. Maya. Jamaicans love Maya. I did not know this shit. You Jamaican too? Am I telling the truth? 100%. See? He was listening to Maya on the way over here. You can tell. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Girls gonna shut because of that, oh yeah, there you go. That's what we love. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you come see about Jamaicans, then they probably fuck with you more. Yeah, I'm glad you said, girl, them sugar. I fucking love Beanie Man, ever since he dropped it. That. that versus was fire too, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was fire. <laughs> I knew it. I, knew, I like Beanie Man because he he's a very giving dude. First song came out, Sim Sima. Who got the keys to my Beamer? And in my mind, what? I just saw him just like, let me get the keys. Like, <laughs> Sim Sima! Who got the keys to the Beamer? That's <laughs> how you know you fucked up. Give me my car keys. That's what he was basically saying. Well, it just ran. Hey, hey, give my hey, fucking man, car keys. What the fuck is wrong with you? This nigga said he was sharing. He was like, <laughs> you hold the Nigga ain't have shit to do with this car. Man, who keys is this? <laughs> Had them keys for an hour to be the man got on the mic drunk. Sim Sima! <laughs> <laughs> Who got the key to me, Bima? Bruh, huh? I've been trying to get this. <laughs> I've been trying to find out who the fuck these keys belong to. <laughs> Who am I? I don't, I don't know, know, nigga. <laughs> you, bro. <laughs> Stupid. Nigga, I walked in there and me. <laughs> 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 I'm stupid. I gotta put this uh, on, man. Cause I be thinking of this stupid shit like that. Oh. Uh, I like this vibe. I like it a lot. This is a, play me some pimping, man. We got girl. company. <laughs> she like it in here quiet. What you think? Right. No, play something else. She heard that one. She like it vibe. This is something new. Yeah. You shacking on the job. Yeah, I like y'all vibe. Nah, this Appreciate is it, man. You Sometimes you don't need music. Through here. Don't let this be the last time. Nah, listen. Look, come mm -hmm. I'm right next door. Every time you drop a new sandwich, mm -hmm. come down here. Oh, I could be like a dropping hose. Hey, man. You dropping sandwiches? No, like? I said a dropping hose. I ain't oh, dropping okay. no sandwiches. You got no. I was about to say. <laughs> I thought you had sandwiches coming out like singles. I'm just saying, I know she got something in the works. I'm just like, she I got a happy got, meal coming out. She probably oh, got like shit. three, four it's different. An, I got an adult happy meal coming out. Um, but instead of a toy, it's gonna be alcohol that you get. That's the only way? That's the only way? Yeah. That is the only way to make an adult Happy Meal. Yeah. And it's called Cheap Date. I want it. So that's Is it enough to get a Can hood Can you describe it? Yes. <laughs> so that's coming. Listen, we got so much crazy. And have a little bit left? Yeah. She can take yes. some home. Yeah, she can take some home. He take the box home, boom. Take so the now you pack a lunch home. for your kids. You Take feel the, what I'm saying? That's what you're trying that's to do. Trying. Take the box home. Take the box home. Oh, you stupid. I just got what you said. <laughs> hey, what oh, niggas like to say in the comedy actually. club? You can use that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to say eat the box. Oh. If eat the, the box, box edible, you might be on the slum. The only, that's how box. you got to get your right. food out. You got to lick the box. Eat the box. I be taking shit way too far. <laughs> we should have just stuck with take the box home. We should have just stayed they right there. Oh, box. what if the box is shaped like this and it open and you just <laughs> see? What if you just oh, if you could gently spread it, with, but you got to use four fingers? You got it. 
Now you know we can't do that. <laughs> can't open it like that? Shit, yes you can. I seen her sub when wrapped that sandwich. Got to slam my goddamn. Y'all taking the slam. Wrap that shit halfway and flip my shit over hard. I don't like that. This thing, what the fuck are you doing? But you know what? That's real, cause you gotta make love to the food. Listen, when I, when I go that. somewhere yeah. and they just throw my shit together, I don't want it. You gotta make love to my shit. You know what my pet peeve is? Is when a motherfucker slam your shit and some lettuce fall off and they just wrap it up and then, ah, man. Don't do that. Let me speak don't to the that. manager. You can tell your shit ain't made with love if you can see the person make it. That's why I don't like them places. Chipotle, oh, all that shit. See? No, I don't want to see you with your attitude. Oh, hey. see, that's why. I, I said listen. a little bit of black beans. What? I said, man, start over, man. That ain't no little bit. <laughs> well, the fuck, I want seven black beans then. If that's the case. <laughs> the hell is wrong with you? You got to get specific. Man, what is wrong with you? Then they're going to drizzle that nasty-ass sour cream. Why is running? I done had sour cream. Sour cream stay on the spoon. And hey, you know what? Black people are the only people that Shit, go to nasty. the restaurant and cook our own food. Yeah. We'll peep around there. Hey, bro. Oh, hey. yeah, right. I used to work up here. <laughs> Drop mine for two minutes. Put the chicken back in. <laughs> They'll let you bring you. I used to work up here, bro. I'm going to order some more chicken. Put that shit in there. And by the time the order come through, pull it out. Put it on the grill. You know what's crazy? They only doing that to black owned businesses, though. What you mean? Like, what you said? Shit. The I man shit. niggas do that shit. Everybody. Do they do that to you? Nah. Do you catch that? Well, I mean, yeah. Like I people mean. looking for the hookup, like trying to, because, oh man, give me a goddamn, like they. Yeah, I mean. Black people swear they critics yeah. of every goddamn thing. But you know what I think it is? I feel like there's a higher expectation because now some, one of us made it. So now you, you, we holding you to a high standard. I ain't saying that it's right. That's fucked up. It's a fucked up way to think, but it puts the pressure on black owned businesses. I'm coming out with a book. I'm putting all this shit in there. Cause, yeah, know. this is a black owned business. They be trying to pressure me, but I be like. Mm-mm. You said black owned businesses try to pressure you. Nah, nah, this is a black owned business, and they really just talk to me like, who the fuck you think you talking to, bitch? I don't, I'm not the worker. Yeah. You better take your attitude. You really don't even supposed to be talking to me. I'm the CEO. <laughs> you don't talk to the motherfucker who runs shit. Right. What gave you the motherfucking right. gall? Because you accessible. The gall. The gall. <laughs> The audacity. The motherfucking audacity to hit the CEO of 85 South Show. Nigga, we picking up what Radio Shack left off. Nigga, <laughs> nigga what? Nigga, we got unfin- unfinished business. Nigga, we starting right there. Wherever Radio Shack stopped, that's where our shit okay. started. Pick up. Okay. Motherfucker Circuit talking City. to me. Talking Circuit about, City hey, to hey, you know who you, shut the, what? <laughs> It all in they feeling. They try to tell you what Even to do. white women sending me messages talking about, even though you don't like white women, I heard you say it. Well, why are you sending this then? Oh, you be getting them too? Nigga. <laughs> Listen. That's what you get? Listen. Yes. I get white them women too. be in mind, but they, they don't be like, See, because hey. you don't be on here be like, listen, white women, leave me alone. I do. I ain't had to. They ain't did nothing. But I'm, you be, I do it. They just send me pictures of them with their dogs. I do it because of, I seen what other <laughs> niggas had to go through. So I be just like, oh, yeah, warning. You know. Let me ask you a question. You know. Do you respond to them you know. or you don't? No. Do? You don't entertain. That's the whole trap. That could be the CIA for all I know. That's you true. respond to a white lady and you say something back and then white ladies get their feelings hurt through words. They'll read that shit and cry every time they I just can't look at it! Like, you can't respond to that <laughs> shit. You say some shit back now and she got a traumatic experience. She go to the court and sue you and they gonna Man. believe because she a white girl. Like, I can't even look at my phone anymore because he reality, called me yeah. a bitch and a whore. And what did you do? I sent him a message and I called him like, I said, listen, it's cool. She don't like, like fucking white girls and shit. <laughs> and he was like, bitch, get out of my DM. And no, I can't like. I have to delete my feeds. I'm so sorry. Yeah, honor my client. I got to do 200 hours of community service. I got to pay a fine, go to court, and then apologize to her for Ain't that crazy? Year. Just because you responded to a white lady. I'd get you out of that if I was your lawyer. No. My client has an auto response for anything that anyone says. And black, it's always, OJ Simpson is the only black man who has ever went to court and successfully 
won anything. Johnny Cotton. That's sad, folks. though. I don't even know if that's funny. That ain't even He like... just made money, though. He had enough money to get the whole, everybody that was good at law. That's like getting everybody off the radio law commercials. This nigga got Big Al, Cantor, and Pencil. Because he had good. money. 411 pain. Like, he got yeah, all the niggas off but that But look shit. how many niggas went and, and lost. It was 999 niggas in one. He, listen, O.J. Simpson had a different kind of access. Man, I don't know what the fuck happened with that Why, because it was a fair case? That's why you said that? I don't know. Because you don't beat the fair case. They, they got the 98%. Man, I don't know whatever. what the fuck happened with that shit. We still, we know don't, we still don't know. Johnny. Mm. Johnny Cochran, he made that shit rhyme at the end. That's <laughs> all it was. It's a rap when that motherfucker Nobody did else that. Could. He like, didn't even have a mic to drop. He probably slapped some shit over after so he said that shit. So you said when he hit the rhyme, that was the defining moment that made white people say, hey, man, I don't know right now. I don't know if OJ did it. Let me tell you what it is. Y'all are missing the point. The point of the matter is he's a fucking athlete that the world loves, right? So when it comes to sports, you know, people yeah. don't see color when it comes to sports. As long as you act right. As lo no, yeah, like, for listen, listen to what I'm saying to you. White people love OJ, black people love OJ, Asian people love OJ. He was loved by the world. So you go in the court, listen, listen, they love the idea of him. They may not have loved him as a player, but they loved the idea of this black man. He got this life, he done made it, he made a career for himself. He's a staple yeah. in somebody community. Somebody loved this nigga. We and had then, his jersey. Yeah, yeah he was rocking his right? jersey, right? Right. So of course, and on top of having access to resources, he walked away scot free. Now, obviously, the, I, I haven't looked into that case a long time, so I don't no opinion neither here nor there. But like the reality of it is, is when you got money and access to resources, you could do a lot of things Sky's that the regular the niggas limit. cannot do. Sky's the limit. What Michael Jordan say? The ceiling is the roof. The ceiling is the roof, and you can stand on the roof. It made what? more sense because the ceiling is the roof oh, because man. the what? other Michael, side of the roof. Michael Jordan was trying to tell these kids that the sky is the limit, limit, but he fucked it up and was like, hey, kids, I always remember. The ceiling, the ceiling is, is the roof. <laughs> He's not wrong. He, but it's the ceiling. He's not the wrong. It's the, but it's, you know, if you think about it contractually, you'll hit the ceiling before you get to the actual roof. I know, but if you go through the ceiling, you what? own the roof. But I mean, you gotta hit the ceiling first. The ceiling is the flip side of the roof. But I'm saying, he said, so So you telling me if I jump up and I touch that ceiling, you, I didn't touch the, the roof of this building. But if you fall down and touch the roof, you didn't hit but the wait, ceiling. But wait, the ceiling is not the roof because That's you get to I'm the saying. ceiling first yeah. and then you bypass the ceiling, the ceiling to get to the roof. the ceiling is the bottom and then the roof is Listen, the top. every house got a roof. Every house right. might not have a ceiling. Exactly. Because if you live in an apartment, you got a ceiling. But the right. roof might be six months, seven, eight. But did they create the ceiling because the roof was too high? No, nah, because the roof was, the ceiling was there first. He was saying don't live in apartments. <laughs> what? Don't have nobody above you, nigga. If the ceiling ain't the roof, move. <laughs> fuck two, fuck all that other shit, man. <laughs> ceiling, that's roof, ceiling roof, that, hey. Ceiling and the roof. Nah, but that's you a think analogy, that though, See, you oh. gotta have the ceiling because if you, and technically, if you think about it, this fucking ceiling is just the bottom of the roof. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. But if you think about yeah. it. So you, let me ask you a question. Some houses don't have ceilings, but they have roof. But they let me ask you a question. The type of people that you need in your life, are they ceilings or are they roofs? I hope a motherfucker is a roof. Because if I reach the ceiling with your ass, that man, I, I you ever heard a motherfucker say, I've had it to the ceiling with this motherfucker. Right. You don't hear nobody so say, you, I've, I've had, had it to, to the roof. roof. So you need uh, roofs around you. But you do hear a motherfucker say, listen, man, I was so mad, I was through the fucking roof. Well, you know what they say. Through the roof. You need a roof over your head. You, you don't need, need a, a ceiling over your head. Nigga said you need a roof. Hey, I don't know though. Cause I'm black and I grew up around a lot of black people and what they always say. It's a, the roof. The, the roof, roof is on fire. The roof is on fire. We, we don't need no water. water. Let, let that motherfucker burn. burn. So that let me know whatever was going on in that building, they have had it to the ceiling with them. And they threw the roof. Exit was through the roof. We tear the roof oh, off this shit. motherfucker. Oh my hey. God. Damn, so shit. Wow, that was deep. Boy.
Mm. I'm Go telling ahead. you. It's something about ceilings and roofs that they don't want black people to know. <laughs> Should it be roofs or roofs? It's roofs, ain't it? It's roofs. Roofs. Is. Roofs. Mm -hmm. Roofs. If you, if you own multiple homes, then you have no. roofs. In. They you changed it. This is where the name came it's from. I know what it's called. Tops. Two roofs. Guess what those are? Rufus. <laughs> <laughs> What? That's where the name Rufus if you comes have from. Two roofs. If As your you grandfather's you have name a... is Rufus, that nigga either used to work on ceilings or he fixed the roof. Roof. Rufus! <laughs> Are you up there still? Damn. Who you talking to, boss man? But why you playing? You, boy? That's, that's your new name. That's probably how it really happened, though. That's some fucked up shit for real. No really be telling lies. That's the, that's no. the Well, who's gonna man. fix my roof? Rufus. <laughs> yeah. What Get up there and fix it. I ain't got no ladder, no nothing, no Dang. hammers or nothing. You'll that's figure it out. Get your ass up there. <laughs> that's crazy. And don't come down until that roof is done. Damn, well, man. I suppose to not be up here for a while, cause. You know it was some bullshit too. <laughs> I wonder how many slaves got in trouble just because of white man bullshit. I'm going to get those tools in the morning and you can finish that barn. White man get drunk the night before, yeah, come out bullshit. there at 7 in the morning. Why ain't that barn finished? Well, you said you was going to get the wheels and we was going to finish it tomorrow evening. <laughs> bullshit. I didn't tell you that. I did not say that. You had enough to finish this barn, boy. Why didn't it finish? This barn. Well, sir, so I made it up to the city, but I don't got no materials to do the roof. The roof is the ceiling, boy. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, sir. You got to put a roof over this ceiling or the whole thing. Boy, you don't know goddamn roof on this ceiling. The ceiling's enough. Silence. Don't ever talk back to me. I slap your black ass lips off. Oh. Oh, wrong with you, boy. The ceiling is the roof. Don't you see? Look me in my eyes when I'm talking to you, man. Shit fucked up. They gave us impossible tags, bro. Impossible tags. Impossible tags. Put the roof up first. What's the roof, sir? No walls. <laughs> We're going to build hey, this Ain't barn. no walls. I said put the roof up first. Build it from the top down. Listen, that's why black people, we so talented. Like, we could build anything. We could do any fucking thing. Yeah. Because we had to learn how to do some shit. Think of how much simple shit in our life had to be hard. Like I was talking about this shit on the other episode. Black kids had to pay for our own birthday party. Don't fuck around and get no money for your birthday. That's coming right off the top. Hey. You didn't tell me our parents were just promoting our birthday party. Hey, that is home. Well, you know you got in-house expenses. Ice cream is <laughs> not crazy. free. <laughs> Man, I signed this death row ass family. Your they mom. charging me for towels, my nigga. Your mama signed you to a 360 deal. She get a cut of everything. Christmas nigga. money. Birthday this money. This McDonald's money. Money my daddy gave me. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is for black kids who knew your mama was getting child support money and you thought some of it was yours. You, you was coming up with bright ideas. Mama, I know you got your check. You think we what, what? Don't never say nothing about no goddamn check. <laughs> That check ain't shit. Don't mention my money. <laughs> oh, man, bring up my... <laughs> let, me, let me ask y'all a question, right? Because when you said that, I'm sitting here thinking, like, uh, did you, did, yeah, was your dad in your life? Oh, uh, hell yeah. <laughs> like, that nigga was in walking distance of everywhere I was. <laughs> That nigga was literally in my life. <laughs> hey, son, you all right? I just heard that boy try to get you smoke reaper with him. <laughs> Go on, hit that motherfucking son. Go on, hit it. You got to live your life, my boy. You scared, man. That girl want to give you some pussy, man. <laughs> I like that. Let me grow. Let me, let me, let, let me, let me, uh. <laughs> Bro, you need to distance yourself. Hey, hey. You're not supposed to be here at all times. 
<laughs> this nigga was showing up in the lunchroom. Damn. I, he was working in the cafeteria one time, I swear to God. <laughs> Your father. My daddy was the nigga getting the trays, bro, for like two weeks. Damn. He be like, man, I can't do this shit. God damn. That's weird. That shit, man, that shit's so funny, because I, sh- I wish the answer was no. Sometimes. <laughs> Lilo would tell you, man, my sister, my dad would just show up and be talking shit when he get there. He just, it don't matter where I go. I could be anywhere in the world. He'll just show up. He literally in my life. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, heard you in New York. I had to come. No, like, <laughs> I didn't. I, okay. <laughs> I'm not telling you not to come, but I'm just saying you thought. That's dope, though. Man, that nigga is crazy. That nigga is so funny to me, man. It just, he just. You know, I wish I could say that my dad got deported. He can't even touch American soil. Like, so, like if a nigga had some dirt in his hand from can't. America, he could no. touch it. No. That nigga get time for touching this. <laughs> <He's still> touch <laughs> this. That shit away from me. Nigga. Way too fucking much, man. Get this shit out of here. You see, we comedians, when you say shit like that, that's the type of shit we gonna think. Americans so touch the blood clot. Hey man, you don't get that shit from me, you know what I mean? Hey, let's not fuck around with Trump, that might be real. Oh, shit. Oh, oh I ain't trying for a dude. Why ain't trying for a dude? <laughs> Oh shit! Wouldn't it, oh, wouldn't it be man, fucked up if they up. just caught him at the crib? They kick in the door. He just got American sword just to go, <laughs> just because he know he ain't supposed to touch his hand prints. Is in it. Is that American sword? No, I'm a blood clot American sword. <laughs> Where you get this dirt from, sir? <laughs> You got two kilos of American sword. Man, bring <laughs> in, the, bring man. in the fucking. Uh, <laughs> pH testers. I believe this man got some pure uncut Baltimore <laughs> dirt up there. But wait, I think for real, it's a real shit. I think it's illegal to bring dirt into another country. I know it is. Because, you know, you, you fuck the shit. What you bringing right? it for, man? I don't we know. got some. Trust me, wherever you go, they got it. You but worried about them not having You know, no certain dirt? fruits and vegetables. Uh, it's just the type of shit mm-hmm. you get drunk and be mad about. You just, I can't bring <laughs> my dirt. Be years later. <laughs> Never touch the soil. Touch the fucking soil. <laughs> Me touch it. This is so. Wait, 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 Ooh, dirt dealers. That sound like a high business. Ooh. Dirt dealers. That sound like a good ass dessert. You know? Dirt. What? I don't know. What? I saw a lot of chocolate in crushed up Oreos. Okay, that's, okay. that's all right. Too. My bad. But Dirt right. Dealer, listen. Girl, I don't know what y'all on, but that's what I'm on. I'm gonna listen to Pinky because she be dealer, all in the room. Dirt Dealer can be a drug dealer to sell weed, but the company is called Dirt Dealer. Mm. We oh, we just sell the one weed front. possible. Why are you going to put this people who, listen, are you tired you. of the weed being too strong? No. No, listen, That's let me tell you something. Want. It's fucking shock factor. If you name a weed company Dirt Dealer, people are going to ask questions like, why the fuck would you name a weed company Dirt Dealer? But the buzz in the street is that they got the best weed on the fucking market. Because we get the best dirt. dirt. The best dirt to grow the fucking weed. Seal in the roof. Let's and go. You know, and you know why it's the best dirt? Because our daddy be touching every batch before. <laughs> Matter of fact, me, me touch it. Me touch. <laughs> me touch it. Your blood clot touch it. Me touch every. <laughs> He's stupid. That's Dirt shit dealer. stupid. Hey, See? That's a fire name. That's for my partner right there. He like it. Pinky, can we talk about this later? I'll be working I, on the we, Jamaican hey, accent. You know my favorite awesome. Jamaican accent is the old Jamaican nigga with the with the little harsh voice. You know the one that talk like this. He always got one Jamaican nigga. It was one one. Like got a bossy voice. <laughs> <laughs> the bad man you want to start problem for me <laughs> <laughs> hey listen they walk around drinking tonic ginseng and some emoji. man that nigga voice ain't never coming back <laughs> never <laughs> Drinking like, rum and Red Bull. Yeah, nigga ate a batch of nail. Beanie man, you drinking rum and Red Bull. <laughs> what you thought was gonna happen? That's high blood pressure. <laughs> He's stupid. Yeah, yeah man. You're just making niggas funny. It's, I love their little ad libs and shit. You see me? I love this shit. Like, nigga, I see you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, we all say. Jamaican's a vibe, though. Jamaicans say, you see me. 
Exactly. Niggas from Louisiana say, you heard me? Mm -hmm. I don't know why niggas think you can't see them or hear them when they say something, but. Yeah. Shit, well, some niggas say you feel me. Baltimore, we say, you see what I'm saying? Black people need love. You smell me? That's the baby. Yeah. Everybody use their senses. You yeah, understand? People hit you the touch understand. me? No, <laughs> nigga, you better not touch me. <laughs> Fuck are you? <laughs> what if we were really like in our feelings? We're like, bro, are you emotionally embracing what I'm saying, nigga? <laughs> How does what I'm saying make you feel? Can you, what I'm expressing uh, cutting to the core of your heart. No, my man, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to misinterpret your feelings, bro. Oh, but what you said caused me to be reactionary to what, you know, I, I don't label anyone, you know. Oh, man, hey, they we, do that. When they be on the, the Islam, like all of them, they be doing that. I'm sorry, my brother, it was just misplaced aggression that I had <laughs> from my father being ever so active in my life. It made me underprotected. You feel what I'm saying? So when I overreacted, I just think about my father and his oh overabundance. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean my to take brother. that out on you. Why my brother, no why need to Because the hands add a certain seriousness to what you're saying as a black mm. man, and you have to keep your hands ever so present. <laughs> Don't let that deter you from the degeneration of the masculine Escapation. I see what you're saying, brother. I, see, I know where you've been. You've been eating slutty vegan. See, I <laughs> smell it all on you. See, because you walked in here with a whole different attitude. Well, and, hey, and listen, hey. I recognize the change that's going on phonetically with you, my brother. Oh, man, it's all about ions. You know, it's really about it's right. about ions. Because once your, you once your body that. reaches a certain mm. alkaline of which you should be at an eight already, oh, naturally uh, as a black man. Are you at the if right? If you're staying away from the white woman and being active in your community, your pH would naturally be an eight. Say that again. A lot of brothers out here with a with a with a fucked up pH and it's yes, affecting our sisters. Yes, it's, a, it's, a, it's affecting our sisters, there and they don't go. understand the consequences of their actions. Moving on a lower frequency. Come on, man. Lower vibration. That's how they be talking. Come on. Crack babies. Mmm. Mmm. Cause then it keep going further. He keeps saying crazy as shit. Right. Hot Cheetos. Why hot pies? Popeyes chicken. Black Popeye's lady. chicken been open for 30 years and they just decided to start selling chicken sandwiches two years ago? Who the fuck what was that for? Mean? The same week that the Concord 11's come out. It's a mass destruction of black people, man. Stay woke and pay attention. Black people gotta stop listening to the radio. The radio calls baldness in the black man. Well, you know what they say. <laughs> Listening to all that bass and those subwoofers in your ride will cause baldness, <laughs> receding hairline, low testosterone, and feminine energy. Turn that shit down. Turn that, that shit, shit down. That's hypermasculinity. He has to overcompensate say, for his lack of he masculinity. Has to so he wants to be heard, he wants to be seen, but he does not want to be touched. A black man will kill you for trying to hug him. Did you know that? You try to hug a black man, he will kill you. A black man will literally, a black man literally hates love that much that he would kill you for hugging him. The black man hates everything. He loves nothing. He respects nothing. A natural born killer. Wherever you put this beast, he's going to kill. That's what they want you to believe. That's what they want you to believe. And you know who wants you to believe that, my brother? The, the natural born killers. The See, the killers tell the story. See, I told you about them and they, and I'm going to tell you about we and us. And what story. we got to get back to is the His slutty story. veganism of the ecosystem. Come on, let's get back Talk to it. Talk about it. You need to cleanse your body. See, a lot of brothers walk around mad. You know why they mad? Because they have not boo-booed all day. <laughs> You got to boo boo, man. You got the doo doo. Get off the doo doo. Get off the boo boo. Get on the pot while you smoke the pot. Relieve yourself. You ain't ate no breakfast and you you hungry, but you got to. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Hey, man. That's the I believe way. it's called alkalization. <laughs> That's nigga. the stupidest oh. shit I have ever thought of. Crazy. Yeah. Nigga, that sound like that shit, though. Nigga, that's how like they do, though, bro. just like that shit. How you gonna be Damn hungry it. and have the boo-boo at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh.
You shouldn't eat and go straight do this. If you did that, oh, your system shit. fucked up. <laughs> what? If you eat and you go straight to doo-doo right after you ate. That means your body already wanted to do <laughs> <laughs> Your man needed the shit. What the fuck you doing eating again? Uh, the body just wait. Man, give me something. Come on, man. Well, I'm shitting either way at 1.30. <laughs> oh, oh, that's Ooh. just too stupid. Thank you. Oh, what's your Instagram, boo? What's my Instagram? Yeah. So we can drop it in there and everybody can My show Instagram you, uh, is Slutty Vegan ATL. Slutty Vegan ATL. Yeah. So you do your vegan. locks. Them shits look magnificent. Thank you, I do. Yes. I like the color. Thank it bounces, you. it vibrates, it Thank resonates. You. I appreciate that. These just bars for no reason. <laughs> but yeah, it's Slutty Vegan ATL. And um, for anybody that's watching this, I want them to come and catch a vibe. Because Slutty Vegan is a vibe. Oh my God. I'm going tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to chart my whole experience. Like you should really blog it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I be going live. I bring them with me. Cause for real, you it's gonna be fun, but you are gonna feel proud. Cause like we organized, like shit is like buttoned up. You know you don't. Really, it's hard. I mean, let me. You know what I'm saying. You, you, know you I'm run saying? a tight ship. Like, yeah, I don't play no games. Oh, you one of them managers. Oh yes. Hey, Get your man. ass up if you. You know clean, why? Cause you it's my clean. dream. So if okay. I work hard for my dream, if I could clean the bathroom, you gonna come in and you gonna clean the bathroom too. My man right here. He's. A foodie, he eat all kind of shit. Really? You been? I'm a slave vegan. <laughs> you gotta come. You sleeping. Maybe maybe Slutty Vegan can sponsor 85 South one day. I would love it. That's the clap. Yeah. Yeah. That's the clap. Oh, yeah. I done laughed all my wind out. <laughs> oh. How yeah. you gonna be hungry and have the boo boo? That's a book. <laughs> How you gonna be hungry and got a boo boo? Dr. Bernard. And guess what? Guess what volume two is called? How you come up with this shit? <laughs> How you keep coming up with this shit? That's what you guys call it. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by. I'm happy to be here. Even I'm though I've been here for about 24 hours. I know this is this is yeah. What you mean even though? I've been here. Because you probably well, got it. 24 hours with you, baby, it's just not enough. I'm sorry if I've taken up so much of your time, but what do you want me to do, man? Shut You're so your, busy these days with your, your business. Face. You act like you don't see me, Pinky. <laughs> I was there, baby. I was there when you were still putting pinto beans in place of motherfucking corn, baby. This is me. I believed in the slutty vegan when she had just, you know, been with a few people before it got really slutty. I believed in you, Pinky, and for you to turn your hey, back listen, on me over a couple hours. I had some hours, employees like that. That's what's crazy. Over a couple hours, Pinky? Crazy. I'm not worth a fucking couple hours. You worth it. You worth it. You know how many people subscribe to this, Pinky? Not how many people are going to watch it. How many people are waiting <laughs> on it, Pinky? We are at 1.7 million, yeah. Pinky. Yeah. And guess what? Guess what? That number oh. may or may not be right, but these people are hungry too, Pinky. Stop it. I'm glad you're here. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Listen, this is amazing. This is an amazing opportunity. No, you know what? I'm happy to be here. I fucked with you so hard, man. No. Thank you. Anytime y'all need me, I'm proud I mean, of you. I, I need you right that. now, actually. And I want y'all to keep doing what y'all doing. We're going to. We got, we got such a great opportunity as, I'm going to say young because y'all feel young. Right? Nah, yeah, I would have. Young is a feeling, right? Yeah. Mm. So, like, y'all, we all have such a great opportunity to use our platform so good, and y'all do that. Yeah. And we do that too, and that's just, it's dope. Like, that's exactly what the 85 South show is about. Yeah. Keeping Marvin Gaye name mm -hmm. in every episode. Yeah. So many people need to know that they, how great he Look at that. Look at that. Look at that look. Yeah. That's dope. What? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I use that picture every day to inspire me. <laughs> yeah. Shit, when I when I can just in my that picture is in my mind. That look on Marvin Gaye face of slight disappointment, <laughs> like I know you could do better. <laughs> that look, really look like what he's saying though. That's why I had to double take. Like he's looking like, like nigga for real. Like you really <laughs> just gonna do that? <laughs> yeah. It's a slight, like, disgust. Because it's like he expect more. He said never get too comfortable. He almost about to suck his teeth. Right. Yeah. That's because, like, when you said, 
my dad can't touch American soil. Ma, I looked up at mother. It's, it's really like he looked up at me like, what the fuck they gonna do if he touched that soil? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like that shit's so necessary. Even Sade, Sade can't believe when you said that. She looked like, they said what? <laughs> What Michelle Obama say? And there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Harry Tubman up there like, where he at? <laughs> I wish a nigga would man. talk about some soil. Yeah, like, damn, Angela that Davis up stupid. there, man. She ready to go. <laughs> uh, and look man, at Barack Obama. He is like, he about to get his eyebrows done. He's showing the nigga, <laughs> he's showing the nigga what he want done. Listen here, just take it up just a little bit. What my Luther King said? <laughs> Martin Luther King, he got that look like, man, look how far that nigga took my headline back. <laughs> you play too much. <laughs> Malcolm X trying to show him. Look, I got a young nigga cutting mine. <laughs> my shit and sharp. he uses the same system that he's been using. It's a great system. See, he doesn't make any cuts before he lines me up first. I make them take the Beijing spray, not the powder. I make them spray it on first and I look at it before he cuts it. <laughs> Marvin Gaye looking like, oh, you nigga, uh, get your shit powdered, man. Where your real shit? <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I'm going to bring some slutty vegan over here one day. I'm going to just drop it off. Look, wait, wait, wait. Anytime you want to bring some sluts through here. Sluts or slutty vegan? Slut, slutty vegans, <laughs> slut, slutty vegans. That's, you know, that's some slutty vegans. Yeah. Slutty vegans. Yeah. Slutty vegans. Yeah. <laughs> the kids say sluts for short. Bro, when yeah. she opened the other one, it'll be slutty vegans, won't it? It's slutty vegans next. It's I'm saying, but it'll be like the chain of them, yeah. slutty vegans. <laughs> Sluggy vegan. I got four entities right now. It's about to be five. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And, sh and white people, you better not steal nothing either. Trying oh, yeah. to come up, Listen. they be trying to come up nasty vegetarian. And all this <laughs> shit. No, that's real though, for real. Promiscuous. She's, she's really promiscuous hot. pescatarian. She's like, she's like Paris Hilton mixed with a little Nicole Richie. She's like just seeing a few people. She's flirty. Yeah, she's flirtatious. But that's happening now. Like she's really racy. Other companies are trying to mimic what we created. For real? Yeah, but like that just made me go harder. That's right. it. Well, me and Clayton been talking this shit. I'm, but I don't, I ain't tell him that I'm, I'm trying to get me a restaurant too, man. Really? Yeah. What you trying to say? But about? won't nobody believe in my, my <laughs> dream. I want a barbecue spot. Is it vegan? I'll nah, it's, it. it's not though. That's okay. what I'm saying. Dirty Dick's barbecue. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> you, see why I didn't, you see why I didn't invest? Damn. Listen. Dirty dicks. They gonna put that sausage. You are dirty. Y'all really gonna laugh at my shit? Oh, man, y'all. Hey, but while y'all laughing, that shit could actually be a fucking bop. You know why? Because yep. dirty dicks, dicks could be the face of the business. Dicks, but it's a play on words. Exactly. Dirty dicks. Barbecue. Dirty dicks. Hello? Dicks gonna be the face. Y'all laughing. And you know what? So dicks gonna be the face. Guess how I'm gonna sell the, the real. The face gonna be dicks. Guess how I'm gonna sell the real. Dicks gonna be the face. <laughs> you suck, worked in it. Suck my bones. <laughs> no, actually, I thought you was gonna say suck my dick. But nah, wait till I get these bones in your mouth. <laughs> now, if you're gonna do it, if it's gonna be a marketing frenzy. Have you had dirty dicks bone in your mouth? See how quiet it got? That's yeah. not, see, you taught me that. Just by being here for 24 hours. And that's what I'm saying, Touch. Me and you together. <laughs> your fucking looks, my brains. Your brains and your looks and my legs or whatever the fuck. We can really take this town over, Touch. We can go places, me and you, we can see things. Dirty Dick's barbecue is actually a hot idea. Hey, listen, I know the real Dicky. <laughs> I'll turn you on to him. Dirty Dicks, he's a good friend of mine. And look, Dick, all, worry, the, all the employees Dick, can wear Dickies, no Dickies outfit, so it's a play on words. So exactly, now exactly. it's all about your I imagination. Like it. I like it, and we can make them keep the hot sauce in their pockets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's how you order the shit. Hey, while you're up, steal me a pack of hot sauce, you dirty nigga. You know. <laughs> He knows, 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 he knows,
Williams. Little Dicky, we called him Little Dicky. I didn't Dickie. mean Let's any offense to us. I forgot you. I didn't mean it. Your people, not my Jews. people, we're not. We're the same, but we're not. I understand. <laughs> Your people had it hard. My people had it hard. I know. Hey, you know what I mean? hey, 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 hey. We were here first. We were here first. Relax. Relax. I know. Hey, hey, hey. Relax. We, hey, there is a few of them here. I don't know which ones are, but a few of them are. That one kid, he said he's, that one kid, he's a Rastafarian or whatever. He's over there. Probably like to listen to Louis Farrakhan. I don't know, I don't know. He said, you know this girl, she said her father can't even touch the dirt. That's a tragedy, huh? Sad, real sad. Never would touch the dirt. So listen, Touch, you want to get in on Dirty Dick's barbecue? No. You ever want to touch the bones? No. <laughs> Actually not, thank you, no. So what are you trying to say? Vegan's your thing, right? You don't want to touch any meat, huh? No, I don't touch the meat. Yeah, I don't touch the meat either. You know what I mean? <laughs> stupid. I've never touched the meat before. I, I, I just not my thing. Never I'm not a touchy feely type of person. Go around touching I get that. Get your fucking hand chopped off. That's how Tony lost his nose. Hey, relax. Nobody's going to be touching any meat around here. And you can believe that. <laughs> <laughs> On my mother's eyes, we're not touching no fucking meats. <laughs> On my mother's eyes. What, what meat? <laughs> <laughs> what meat? You know who I don't like? That fucking army. You know why? They say they got the meats. There's more than one of them. I don't know. Fucking pick one. You're not even good at the roast beef thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> you want to fucking make variety of sandwiches. Figure something out. You know what I mean? And who the fuck asked for purple onions? Who the fuck asked? In November, who asked for this? Uh, fucking shoot that hat off your head. <laughs> hey, hey, relax, relax. I, I believe these motherfuckers are gonna put this on a motherfucking podcast or something. You know, one of those Rastafarian channels or something. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna watch it? Who's gonna watch it? <laughs> no one's gonna see it, but hey, just be careful what you say on there. <laughs> You got the one girl from the one, you know, the uh, dirty foods, the slutties, whatever, no. you know, slutty vegans. Yeah. We eat. I've been there. It's pretty good. A lot of nice girls up there. You know? <laughs> Standing in line, but you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, I stand behind that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I stand but behind that. The big man is moving. Hey, hey, the food's worth waiting for, if you know what I mean? <laughs> hey. She said she don't touch no meats. I said, baby girl, me either. You know what I mean? <laughs> what a coincidence. Hey, it's like we're what fucking made for each other. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway. Yo, Listen, Tuts, we're glad you came over. Nonsense. <laughs> <Not yet. laughs> you be careful around that Rastafarian kid. Right? <laughs> Got my eye on you. <laughs> I don't know what he believes, but, uh, you know, watch him. Watch him. Nice, nice kid. Nice, real nice kid. Real nice kid. But he said he was a pastor. Oh uh, yeah, he wanted his pasta, whatever. He said he wants to go jerk some chicken or something. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if he's hungry or not, but hey, he's gonna, he, he's gonna, you know what I mean? Yeah, hey, hey, what'd she say? He's gonna touch the meat. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I don't okay. have fucking time to play with y'all. Uh, good. Man, we really appreciate you though, man. We wish you much success. You. Continue to do what you're oh. doing. Whatever you're doing, that shit working. Don't let nobody fuck with your formula. Confidence, you got everything you need. And uh, you know, just to see a successful black woman doing what you're doing and for you to take the time out to just come chill with your local comedians in the trap house. Anytime, you know, this is good. And, you know, keep Marvin Gaye in your prayers and shit like that. Hit him. Do we need him still? <laughs> I mean, they go, work. Don't you, can't you just ask I that cannot. for a God gonna be like, hey, mom, you got some mail. <laughs> People down there believing in you. In a minute, what's that? This is 85. I ain't no mail in a minute. How you looking at it? I ain't no mail in a minute. Yeah, it's like something about they got a show or something, and there's a picture of me on there. <laughs> oh, that's your weird night. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm going to check that out. <laughs> sure enough, Will. What y'all doing later on this, this evening? Not. <laughs> you know, that's where older people hang out at Rabbit Mill. Yeah. So did you catch the news this morning? That's how they be for real. Oh, my God. That local news is a killer for old people. <laughs> They get so caught up in it, they, dis they yes. discuss it with the name. You know, they say it was a car chase on I-20 this morning. A man was going 115 <laughs> something miles. <laughs> well, I mean, this is how you know old people are always lying. Like when they get to the number part, they'll say a number and throw something at the end. You know, they say that man was going 150 something miles. <laughs> <laughs> but hold up, you live in LA, right? Yeah. So you know LA news is different. Like they actually putting the car chase on Man, the they TV. They can't wait for the car chase. Yeah, they ain't doing that here, but LA. It'd be, it'd be, what? That shit like a show. That shit yes. come in like, hey, it's we like got a nigga got there, and, and, the, and, the, and the police be excited. They be chasing. The hey, this yes. motherfucker just robbed the bank, and he on the road right now. We and on I-5 right now. You know what I like right about the car chases in LA? Mm -hmm. is they get good camera angles. Yes. It be multiple cameras. Yes. They got so many the you, get, you get a close up of the nigga making it's a It's like laugh. you there. <laughs> they zoom in on that shit. They got all yeah. types. Then you watch the other channel and they got different angles and shit. That shit great when they zoom yeah. in and you see who the fuck driving. Cause that's when all the bets come in. They only do that like, this in is LA. This a black dude. This is a black dude. This is a black dude. The way he driving. This is a black dude. Then you see, you like, oh, this Mexican could drive his ass off. We did not know. I was watching a car we chase one know. time, and the nigga had got so far ahead, he jumped out, got some footage for his video, jumped back in the car, and then oh, what? Oh, nigga, a legend. That's crazy. Man, the hardest shit I ever saw was them dudes that do the money out in the hood. They arrived the bank and they was on the chase and they knew they was gonna get caught. They just and kept they driving through the hood and they was doing money and they was calling people, telling motherfuckers, "Hey, we coming down, goddamn what?" what? And people was telling other people they was just doing that shit out. That's crazy. But that was some real life Robin Hood. Slow clap. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know why? You know. You know why? Because all heroes don't wear capes. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm sure that money mm -hmm. paid some rent, bought some weed. Oh, we bought some Jordans. Did you say weed? Got the some candy. kids babysat. The candy lady got rich. Somebody got a, a freezer full of meats. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know black people doing good. That's the first thing a nigga do is buy a whole bunch of groceries and show up late, like use later than usual. They come home every day, Monday through Friday, about 4, 4.30. Then Friday show up at 6 o'clock. Where the fuck you been? Right. Go outside and help me. <laughs> <laughs> Where you get a van full of groceries from? Why did you buy all this meat? We don't have enough room for this food. What are we gonna do? We, mu that deep we, must, we must do what black people do. We must. Go through this whole freezer and rearrange everything, but we ain't throwing away shit. Nothing. Yes. Nothing. We're gonna nothing. make where nothing, nothing gets thrown away. Nothing. It just gets nothing. rearranged. We have enough nothing. room for everything we have in there, and plus nothing. a whole bunch of more shit. We just gotta turn this shit rearrange. Who put this in here like this? Now you about to go through three hours of that. Who put this shit? Who the fuck didn't eat this Zaxby's? Don't shit out there. They Man, ain't you see why this podcast there. is so necessary? Mm. Absolutely. Oh my God. Damn it. No, this is real. I like this. This podcast is for anybody who ever had a fake gold chain and put fingernail polish on it. <laughs> anybody who ever did that. I'm talking about you loved your fake chain so much when the snap broke, you put a safety pin. I'm talking to that yeah. demographic of yeah. black yeah. people. The yeah. Rastafarian kid. Who is the Rastafarian? It's a, play of, it's, a play, it's a play on racism. <laughs> Never mind. Well, look, we're not going to hold you for 24 more hours. I know we've been wrapping up for a little minute, but we enjoy you so much here in the trap. Yeah, this is good. It's Thank you for having me. It's been another Come. rendition of the 85 South. So Come make on, sure you support Come on, Slutty man. Vegan! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm... I appreciate you. I've been dabbing hands all Thank night. Thank you. Well, that was dope. Appreciate you. Appreciate yeah. your patience nah. and ever-loving blessings. Absolutely, man. This is good.